My doctor says I don't get enough calcium with the nutritarian diet, although I eat my G-bombs and greens. My blood calcium levels were normal, although she said that's why you need a doctor to interpret lab works. This is no reflection of the calcium in your bones. So should I be concerned? That's why you need a doctor who knows nothing about nutrition and health to give you health advice. <laughs> yeah. You know, whatever. I knew you weren't going to like what this doctor said. Right. I, I thought, but yeah. yeah. So let's hear what your thoughts are. Um, well, that she's right that calcium in the blood doesn't reflect um, your need for, it doesn't mean that you're not deficient in calcium because the body keeps a normal calcium in the blood for normal, for normal function of the body. It'll strip the bones to keep calcium normal in the blood. Oh. So you could have a negative calcium balance, urinating out extra calcium, um, and still have a normal calcium in the blood. Right. So that part she's right on. Right. But a nutritarian diet is generally richer in calcium than a standard American diet. For sure. Because people eat so much green vegetables and beans and nuts and seeds, which are really high calcium foods. So I actually, I do it all the time. I always analyze the nutritarian diet, how much protein we're getting, how much calcium we're getting, how much of this supplement, that supplement. I'm the expert in a nutritarian diet and what it contains. Right. And so it contains usually double the amount of calcium compared to what people typically eat, just in our diet. So we're on a relatively high, because there was a study came out of um, England, which showed that vegans had higher hip fractures than people on meat-based diets. And that's maybe where this doctor got that idea from. And I analyzed the vegan diet that they were following in, in England, which was not anything close to a vegetarian diet. They were eating most of the calories from, from wheat products. Or and processed or yeah, carbs. Whatever yeah. they were eating, it, I analyzed, the calcium was about 400 to 500. Whereas a nutritarian diet, I put it right next to each other. It was double the protein on the nutritarian diet and double the calcium. Because it's high in vegetables. Because high, yeah. high in vegetables means it. So, we gotta, so these are foods that are really high in calcium and they don't produce the acid tide in the blood from eating so much animal protein, which causes calcium loss in the urine. And oh. so we're getting more, so we're absorbing the calcium and, not, and retaining it better because we're not excreting out so much calcium in our urine. Just like with sodium. We're not taking in so much sodium, but we're not excreting it out in our, in our sweat and our urine, so we're holding on to it better. So we hold on to calcium better because we're eating so healthfully, and we get plenty of calcium, and that's why we get enough protein because if we had, because don't forget, as you put sugar in your diet and you pour more olive oil on your food and you're, take, you're taking the calcium and the protein out of your diet because the more you use sugar and oil, you're eating foods that have no protein or no calcium in them. Whereas if you ate the, the nut instead of the, and the you know, it's, and, Instead of, and the fruit and the vegetables, and you get the calcium, there's even calcium in fruit, you know? So anyway. So, so you're saying, the doc, was there a way to test the calcium in the bones? Like no. well, she was just saying this based on the fact that it was vegan. She was just making a, a, a judgment based on incorrect knowledge. Right. She's, Cause there are some vegan diets that could be low in calcium, but an animal food based diet is low in calcium too. Because when a natural carnivore kills the animal, like a rabbit, when they eat the whole bones and they chew the gristle and they eat the, you know, they eat almost everything. But we just, but humans just have the meat, the muscle meat, and they leave over the bone, the gristle, the joints, the organs. So they're not getting enough, they're not getting calcium in that. And mm -hmm. what are they eating? Little piddling sized portions of vegetables? So other than the right. dairy, where are they getting, if they're not eating, where are they getting the calcium from? Except when they use dairy products. So that means they're dairy product dependent to get their calcium. Which we know how bad dairy is for you too. Right, so, so we're getting our calcium from the vegetables the the beans the nuts and seeds and the, all the you know so everything we're eating has calcium they're only getting calcium from a small portion of their diet so we actually get more calcium and more calcium retention i want to touch on the fact really quick too because it is really difficult to say to to like take your doctor's advice with a grain of salt like so you're yeah. saying this doctor doesn't know what he's but like not everyone has exposure to a lot of doctors or medical people i mean i tell you you're wrong all the time but a lot of people who fear doctors or or just think they're right they have to be right they went to school for this me and Kara talk about this all the time that people and doctors can give you a thousand different opinions people don't realize that that it's not all one opinion based on every single doctor so you just have to also realize that they're people with their own opinions and and stuff too and they're mostly really not trained and they don't, they don't spend the interest. They haven't been the student of nutrition and spent most of their waking hours studying. They're studying drugs and drug therapies or surgical techniques. They're not nutritional experts, generally speaking. Right. And then we have the growth of doctors who have, see the power of nutrition, who take this on as an interest and they take and they incorporate it into their career. But that's different than a general doctor. So now we, you know. And also, I mean, everyone kind of has a different nutrition protocol too, which is kind of a scary, crazy thought. There's just, it's dime a dozen. Well, that's why we're here. And that's why I'm, I'm, I'm excited to be 
having the, my, the work that I do to help clarify, educate, and use exposure to a broad amount of science that people don't have the time to investigate all these things because they have their own jobs and their own lives. And I can do a lot of that investigation for them, weigh the evidence and present them with information that they could utilize for their life. And that's been my, my role as my career, which is a great job. People yeah. trust you. Yeah. So it's good to yeah. keep that it's going. A good job. Thank but you. you also add, sorry, I just wanted to say this. I was thinking you also do add calcium to your supplement, right? What's that? You also add ca calcium to a multivitamin, right? Is that something you recommend? Well, we put a little calcium in there, but they, but we mostly give a little bit of food derived calcium to postmenopausal women, especially if they're thinner, frail, older people, because we absorb less calcium with aging. And taking calcium supplements are too high of a dose, and there's too much at one time coming to the bloodstream, and that could be not good for the joints of the heart. So we're giving these postmenopausal women who have small appetites, who, who they can add a little bit of the food based calcium to each meal or to two meals a day, let's say, to get a little extra lower dose calcium, food-based calcium. It's not gonna rush in the bloodstream so rapidly. and not gonna give them such a huge dose, like 500 milligrams or 1,000 milligrams of calcium. Just add a little touch extra to the diet. So that's what we do for women who, are pro who have osteopenia, osteoporosis, or who are smaller, frailer people, lower appetites, prone to more developing more bone problems with aging. We can give them a little extra calcium um, with our osteobiotech, or, or in the Women's Daily has a little extra calcium, but the Osteobiotech is the supplement that gives little people more K2 and more food-based calcium to add a little calcium to their diet. Because we do get reduced absorption as we age, and we want to, and to maximize women's bone mass. Absolutely.